So let's move over to the embroidery machine so that I can give a quick demonstration on how you can determine where your tension should be set. We're here at the embroidery machine and I have my bobbin thread is black and the top thread is going to be green. So let me move you a little closer to allow you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. Now I have my scrap piece of fabric hooped and what I'm going to do is, if all goes well, <laughs> stitch out a demonstration of what your, your tension and thread is supposed to look like. Now, someone had asked another question a while back um, why do I do the letter I or um, the lowercase letter L? And the reason why is because it um, is really quick, easy to stitch. And usually it's a satin stitch column that is um, stitched out. And that's exactly what we want. So we're going to go back to this one. Actually, let me check this one. Okay, we're going to do this one down here. And the reason why I'm picking the, that font, the lower um, left hand font, the very bottom one, is because it looks like the letters are a little bit thicker. And I want a pretty good idea for you guys of what a good satin stitch column looks like. So the letter I is pretty plain. Actually, let me delete that again. And we want a medium because I don't want to go too terribly big. And what I'm going to do is go into the layout and I'm going to move it over so that we can do several of these and give you, you know, examples. OK, so we're going to put our foot down and we're going to go ahead and stitch this out. And just that quick, our satin column is done. So we're going to tell it, OK, we want you to be finished sewing and let's take this off. Now, as I mentioned before, my bobbin thread is black. And as you see here, you don't see any black thread at all on the front of this fabric, all right? You see a nice, clean satin column. Let's look on the back. Now on the back, you see a little bit of the green and then you see the black bobbin thread. The rule of thumb for excellent tension in your embroidery machine is to have two thirds of your back of your uh, design, two thirds of it should be bobbin thread and one third should be your top thread. So you should see some of your top thread on the back side and then the majority of it, your bobbin thread, but you should see some of the top thread. Now let's show you what it looks like when the tension is off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my tension. Now, right now, my perfect tension on my machine is set at three. All right. So let's move it to, let's say five and see what happens. Now it may still stitch out. Okay. But I want to show you what it, the difference would be. So we're going to move it over and we'll go ahead and stitch another column. Now, so far it looks good. This machine has been known to make me look really silly sometimes. When I want it to do something, it won't do it. When I don't want it to do something, that's when it does it. So with my tension on five, let's up. It's giving me some issues already. So it's not wanting to come off the machine. So let me cut it. And what I noticed it did was there's some of the black bobbin thread on top. Now, my machine did not like that being set on five. Notice there's a bit of that black bobbin at the bottom. Let's look at the back. And on the back, look at the difference between the two. Look at that wide uh, amount of the black bobbin thread and a very small amount of the top thread. That's too little of the top thread on the back. The tension is off. Um, and the machine also told it. The machine is like, we don't like that tension. 
So if you have issues on your machine and the machine, you know, gives you some trouble, check your tension, you know, take a moment um, at least, you know, once or twice a week to check with just this simple process, check and see what your tension is set at. Now I'm coming in and, oh man, it grabbed up a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of thread and of course I don't have my tweezers with me so give me a sec let me go get these tweezers so I'm gonna get down in there and grab this thread and pull it out and yeah it got caught in there and I'm gonna double check and make sure it didn't like tension I'm gonna double check and make sure there are no other threads now generally oh, yes I can I'm gonna go ahead and dust it out since I've already got it open and because some thread did caught, get caught in there, I wanna make sure it's good and out of this whole bobbin case area. So I'm gonna give it a couple of, couple of blows just in case there's a stray um, thread and blow it out so we can get good and clear. And now we're gonna put everything back. And because we know that the machine does not like it on five we're going to go ahead and put it back to three now what happens if the bobbin thread is too loose now in that instance it's too tight so we want to loosen it some so i'm going to drop it down to two and a half almost on one and the reason why i'm not putting it all the way down to one is i won't tell my machine oh my goodness so we're going to put this back on the machine and this time I'm gonna move it over some more and we'll do another satin stitch. Now remember this is on two, in between one and two, right in the middle. And it looks like it's doing okay, so we'll see. All right, let's take a look. I might not have loosened it enough. Yes, I did. All right, so now let's look at that and look at the difference. You see how there's so much more of the top thread on the back than the black bobbin thread. That's too much of the top thread, all right? And my satin stitches will be too loose, even though on the front it looks okay. The front looks okay, but that back is what tells a different story. So you have to do this test to try and get your perfect top tension settings on your machine. This is the easiest way I've found to do it. Now there are other gadgets that you can use to pull the thread through and find your tension and all that other kind. But this was the simplest, it's the cheapest to do, and it's a really foolproof way to determine what your top tension should be.